Hey, 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 hi guys, how are we? All right, today's Saturday, the 23rd. All right, let's learn, let's learn. All right, I'm standing under a beam here. This is a beam, just misses my head. And you know, Mike's 178 centimeters, one meter's there, 100 centimeters, about 78 more. So this would have to be about 180, that's 180. Whilst we're in the backyard, let's continue to learn. Who can remember what that type of plant is? It's a bonsai, yes, a bonsai, so how cool is that? And there's my other bonsai over there. And we were talking yesterday about citrus fruits. Um, and I wonder how many people, if you watched yesterday, stay there, stay there, how many people actually said, oh my, how come you didn't mention the orange as a citrus fruit? Yeah, I know, but that's okay. Um, remind you, just quickly, these are the parts where our taste buds, um, bitter, is at the back of our tongue, sour and then salty at the front and then sweet at the very front and the middle to remind ourselves where we taste on our taste buds. And I think we've got like a thousand or over a thousand taste buds on our tongue, but we can't actually see them. Alrighty, let's continue to learn. I'm going to teach you something else today. Come over here for a second. I've talked about lines in different ways. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Come around here, beautiful. So we know that this is a bit of a diagonal line because it, the, um, it's going on an angle and this is parallel two lines that go side by side, which are also vertical lines because they're going up and down. But this, these I'm gonna teach you about. So when you get a pattern of shapes that continues, that starts with the letter T, okay? And that's called a tessellation, all right? So that's a tessellating pattern. So a tessellating pattern is any pattern that doesn't, or any um, shape that basically doesn't overlap or leave a gap and it continues again and again. So you can see tessellation of a pattern there, which is a tessellation. I just think that's cool. Alrighty, um, that'll do for our learning today. So we really learned about tessellating shapes and I reckon there's tessellating shapes all around you. You just gotta have to look out and see if you can find some. Enjoy your day and we'll speak to you tomorrow. See ya.